KC Crafters. So I'm going to start calling you that because it stands for Kelly's Crafters. I might class you as KCCs, which is Kelly's Crafty Crafters. Anyway, we're going to show you how to make this card. So this card is just really simple. I'm using the Colorado Craft Company Perfume Boutique. Some watercolor paper and then some of my watercolors. Everything I used will be linked in my description, guys. Also, this probably won't be the only time you see this stamp set appear because I ask people what they prefer, which stamp set um, for their card and they basically choose and somebody else has chose the stamp. So just use my Tuxedo Black ink to stamp this. And then I'm taking some embossing ink. Now the reason why I didn't just use embossing ink instead of adding the black, I wanted to make sure that you saw the imprint and everything as well. So that's why that's like that. I might do one where I don't do the black embossing and just do clear, but we'll figure that out. So I just used a Dovecraft clear embossing ink. I did stamp it three times to make sure I got the entire thing covered. And I used well clear gloss embossing powder and I heat set that off screen. So I'm taking the three blues that come in this set with the water marker and I'm going to start off with the lightest blue for the, the vase itself. Um, so I am still very new to watercoloring guys so please <laughs> bear with me. Um, I do sometimes forget like more is less when it comes to watercoloring. So anyway I'm going to insert some music. I hope you enjoy the process. Um, if you don't like watercoloring then maybe this video isn't for you. Um, but I hope you do stick around it until the end because I think it's turned out really great. So I'm going to insert some music. I'll also insert a time frame if you want to skip it, but I don't see the point of that. But anyways, I'll see you in a second. Once I've done that, I decided to fussy cut this out just because I wanted to add something in the background. Um, anyways, also I did add some sparkle no pen um, to the verse. So I'm just taking my soft colors paper pad. If I can find it, I will link it. If it's not linked, it's just because it's that old. And yeah, I'm also taking a five by seven inch card, but this will be trimmed down so it won't be that. I also took some double sided tape to adhere the card base onto the pattern paper. So as you can see the top portion is white and then the other bit, I mean you could probably cut the side and like stick it on top but I just didn't like that. I'm also going to be using double sided tape to adhere the perfume bottle onto the background. I just think this made it, I don't know what the word is, it probably 
looks a bit lost, but it also sort of like ties in so it brings your focal to the middle of the card. But also, I was going to put the age of the person that I was giving this to, um, but unfortunately, by the time she did message me with her age, it was too late and I finished. So maybe on another person's card that I use this for. So I'm using number something, your birthday to you. I presume it says happy. I can't remember. Yeah. So there you go. So I come in with my Spectrum No Sparkle Pen again. And I also bring in my white gel pen just to add some little details to the flowers just to make them stand out just a little bit more. But that is it for the card, guys. I do add my personal stamp on the back, as usual. But apart from that, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you don't mind my watercoloring. Let me know down in the comments what you think, if you have any tips and tricks for me. Um, also, go follow me on my Instagram. It will be linked in the description. I am close to hitting a 1,000 when I'm editing this. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by the time this video actually goes out, I will have reached that. Also, go and follow the girl I send this to because she did send me a couple of gifts for my birthday and she lives in the US, so I'm going to be doing the same thing for her. Um, so, fingers crossed she also likes what I send her. <laughs> but apart from that, guys, I will see you in my next video. I hope you guys are staying safe and just have some fun crafting, even if it's not something that turns out perfect. Like, I think we just need to learn from each other. Also, I just remembered I did bring in some, like, crystal jewel drops embellishments to add something to the surrounding area so i used my multi matte medium glue to adhere that but apart from that guys i will see you next time have fun and i hope to see you very soon bye guys